Hey everyone, I hope that you're having a good day. Welcome to Pink's Jewelry. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute, really simple but easy to dress up charm necklace. Well, I call it a charm. It's more like a pendant. Um, it's really light and it's very smooth. And I'm just adding it to a sterling silver 18 inch chain that already comes with the clasp. And it's very simple to make and it's very fun. And it's actually interchangeable. So you can make several of these pendants and just slip them on and slip them off. Easy, very easy. Okay, so stay with me and we need we'll get started. Uh, two pairs of crimping pliers or any type of tool that you use to open and close jump rings, that's the only purpose these are serving today. Um, I just happen to find it easy to get a really good grip on the jump ring if I use two pliers and because these have the little grooves in them, I can get a really good grip. So that's what I use, but you can use anything that, uh, you, that you would normally use to open or close jump rings. Flat nose pliers, um, whatever works for you. And then you also need some sort of light pendant. And the reason I'm noting that you need a light one is because the type of chain we're using is very delicate. So you don't want to put anything too heavy on. For example, uh, this heart right here. It's cute, um, but it's kind of heavy. It's uh, pewter, and it would just really weigh on the chain and on the jump ring. And uh, if that hangs on the jump ring for too long and it's too heavy it'll pull and at some point you'll lose your pendant and you don't want that so something light this is very cute it's just it's got these little blue flowers on it it's kind of a nice green pop and what else you will need are two jump rings unsoldered so that you can attach the pendant with the jump rings Okay, and then this is just an 18 inch simple sterling silver chain. It already has the clasp attached to it. And it has a very small end on one side so that you can just slip it through the jump ring once you have your pendant put together. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna take your first jump ring and get a good grip on it. Okay, and take your second set of pliers or whatever it is that you're using. Get another good grip on it. Okay, and then I just twist it. Some people might pull it this way, but I find it's easier to line it back up when I twist it. Okay, okay, so once you have your jump ring open, you're going to slip your pendant on, okay, and then you're going to slip your second jump ring onto that before you close it up, and you'll see why in just a moment. So go ahead and slip it on, just like that. Okay, so once you have a good grip, close it together. And your pendant is now ready to put onto your chain. And the nice thing about these, they're so simple to make. You can pick up a two or three or four of ones that you like and one chain, and then you can just switch it out. So it's easy to make and it's economical too because instead of buying five or six different necklaces, you buy five or six different charms or pendants put them together and you have five different looks. Okay, so then once you have that put together, you will see your, you hold it up with the plier so it's easier to see. Okay, you'll see your jump ring on top, your jump ring on bottom, which is attached to the pendant so that when you put it on the chain, it will lay correctly. Okay. So then, you're going to take the small end of your chain and thread it through. 
And that's why this is so important as well to make sure that you have closed the jump ring thoroughly and that there are no gaps because you don't want your chain slipping through that either. Okay, so let's close this up. And you don't have to use this exact type of chain. It's really your preference. Just um, make sure that you have something that's going to be sturdy enough and that you match the weight of the pendant with the weight of the chain. So like I said, you don't want to get a pendant. You don't want to get a really heavy chain and then, you know, uh, a little pendant that's not really going to stand out. And then you also don't want to get a... Um, really heavy pendant and then a light chain that's not going to be able to hold it. Okay. Now I just want to note as well that you don't you don't have to get a chain that has a small end in order to complete this because with the jump ring as long as the jump ring can be opened enough to fit around the chain you can also attach it that way. I just happen to thread it through in this tutorial but of course you can ju just attach the chain uh, I'm sorry, you can attach the jump ring directly around the chain as well. Okay, thank you for watching my tutorial today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you have any requests, I would love to do them for you. Please come and visit my shop. It's called Pink's Jewelry, P-I-N-X-J-E-W-E-L-R-Y on Etsy. I also have a blog. It's pinksjewelrybox.blogspot.com and I will put the links um, underneath this video. So I would love for you to stop by anytime. I would love to hear what you enjoy to do, what you enjoy creating. I would love to subscribe to your channel, so please subscribe so that I can come for your channel as well. I also have Shout Out Mondays where I pick five people on my subscribe uh, I pick five of my subscribers and I give them I do an, a video devoted to shout outs to them so whether you just do daily vlogs or you just like to create things or you just like to um, do something in real estate I mean it really it really it doesn't matter um, come on come all so I hope to see you soon thank you for watching and have a great night